Hello, I'll try to make this video short. This is the Geo Metro 1990 three cylinder motor, and it had a major problem with especially the middle cylinder, the number two cylinder. It goes from left to right, one, two, three. And I decided to take off the head to investigate things. And uh, when I first bought the car, Daddy Long Legger, get over here. Oh, he fell down. Anyway. Um, when I first bought the car, it ran bad. It started using a lot of oil. It would use a whole quart of oil in like 100, 150 miles, 200 miles. I don't know. It would use a lot of oil. The middle uh, spark plug was just melted, totally wasted. And I did a compression check, looked at the numbers, and um, decided to uh, open it up. So I took the head off. As far as the bores, the bores look pretty good. They are not scratched or scratched score dented you know they all look pretty good in here and I can turn the motor so you can see it a little better I'll turn it I'll try to keep the camera still while I turn and the pistons are going up and down of course and uh, just checking out the deals here. I can see that the uh, walls and the bores aren't really that bad, as far as I understand it. The tops of the pistons they're not don't seem to be chipped or anything. They do have some corrosion. The number one it looks pretty good. There's nothing, not much on it. Number two's got some black stuff on it, you know. Number three's got more stuff on it down there at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can turn this to bring it up again. Yeah, it's coming up now, so there it is. Let me get it up here. Okay, there's number three. It seems to have uh, corrosion on top of it. I don't know if I'm supposed to uh, take that off or that's okay to have. I don't want to buy buy all new pistons and do redo the whole motor to that extent. I just want to get this thing running good so it gives me a few more miles. I don't want to take the motor out if I can do any if I can do it all just like I have it, that'd be great. Anyway. A little corrosion here. I don't know if I should mess with that or just leave that alone. But anyway, this doesn't look as bad as this, the head that I took off. Here's the head that I took off. And I guess this is where the main problems usually are in a car like this. I don't know. A lot of corrosion around these these valves, these exhaust, exhaust and intake valves. Um, they're all kind of about the same. This one's pretty bad right here. It's got a bunch of corrosion around here. I would turn it and show you. Turn the timing here. But it's so hard to turn because of the spring tension on the uh, top here show you I'll turn it around for you and there I was just leaving the distributor in there and everything when I took it out but anyway this looks fine over here but I couldn't turn it because of the how hard it is and the springs and the, the lifters whatever you call these things I read it the other day but don't remember but anyway the ports, these ports here Look black, of course, but I mean, nothing major going on. And uh, also these over here on this side, that looks pretty clean. But definitely the top is where some work needs to be done. I guess I'm going to have to replace these and uh, lap the seats or something. I've, this, I've never done this before, so I'm learning. And then I need all the help I can get, but that's that. So it looks like I need to uh, figure this out. What I need to replace. Looks like I need to replace all my valves here, six of them. And I'll lap the seats and make sure they go good. And what I'm wondering is, do I take the top off? I undo 
those two nuts, these two bolts, these two nuts, and I may have to take the distributor out, lift off the camshaft, and then I can get to these deals down in here and lift them out, but I'm concerned that there's heavy duty springs in there and they might pop out, I'm not sure, I'll have to investigate that, but okay, so that's that, that's what I got. Let me know what you think, what I, sh I should probably do, or what could I at least do to get it running again and get a few more miles out of it, as opposed to doing a major overhaul with everything. I haven't taken the oil pan out yet and seen underneath. But from the looks of it, hopefully, I'm hoping that there's no concerns on the bottom part of the motor. It's mainly these problems that I have with the valves and how they're wear wa the wear indicates where it indicates leakage of oil, fuel, exhaust. So I think this is my main problem. If I fix this and made this all new again, put it back on, everything will be fine? Question mark? Thanks for listening.